Practically, what does it look like to praise the Lord? We're probably not going to walk down the sidewalk shouting, Praise be to God! So how do we do it in our everyday life? Praise the Lord is one of the most repeated phrases in all of Scripture. The Old Testament in particular commands us to praise the Lord over and over again. And it shows a lot of different people who offer their praises to God. The Old Testament was originally written in the Hebrew language. And Hebrew has a lot of different words that can be translated as praise. A lot of these words can be, in some sense, used interchangeably, but really they have a lot of different meanings, aims, and can be used in slightly different ways. First off, when we think about praising the Lord in our culture, we often think about singing songs of praise. And there are words in the Old Testament that mean just that. Like the word tehillah, that means a song of praise. I mean, it shows up in the Old Testament 57 times. Or Zamir, which also talks about singing praise, but it also has the idea of striking with your fingers. Like if you're playing a, a stringed instrument or something like that. And it shows up 45 times. Now, if you punch those two numbers in your calculator, you're going to come up with 102. So anything the Bible mentions or brings up 102 times should be something that's significant to us as well. So let me encourage you in your day to day. Car concerts to praise the Lord are amazing. But praising the Lord doesn't stop with music or singing. It has so much more to it than that. Hallel is by far the most common word for praise we see in the Old Testament. It shows up a whopping 165 times. And Hallel may sound kind of familiar because it is the root word for hallelujah. While it sometimes shows up in a musical context, other times it does not. So it's best to understand this as music can be an application of praise, but not necessarily the definition itself. At its core, Hallel means to shine or to bring forth light. Practically, we think to praise or boast, but it can also be translated as to celebrate or even to rave. Now think with me for a moment how powerful those words are how much energy and excitement they bring. I mean, it's kind of like you're like that bottle of Coca-Cola and someone dropped in a Holy Spirit Mentos and just boom, you know, like you're so pumped by what God is doing and who God is. Hallel compels us to look to God, to find our awe, to find our wonder in who He is and what He has done, and to let that overflow into the rest of our life. Let's look at Psalm 117 as our model for what this looks like. Praise the Lord, all nations, extol him, all peoples, for great is his steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. So there's the command to Hallel, to, to praise, and then the psalmist gives us the reason why. You see, the person who wrote this psalm had experienced God. He had experienced his steadfast love, his enduring faithfulness. And he was excited about it. He knew who God was from a personal standpoint, not hearsay. So our second way of praising the Lord in our everyday is to simply to talk about the Lord, to talk about the great things he has done, to talk about the great God that he is. So parents, when you're with your kids, whether you're driving down the road, whether you're at the dinner table or wherever you are, talk to your kids about God's faithfulness. Talk to them, tell them stories of how he showed up in your life. Tell them the stories that you read in scriptures of God doing big and amazing things, of Him showing steadfast love, enduring faithfulness. When you're with your friends, don't shy away from talking about how big of a role God plays in your life. And I'm not even quite talking about evangelism here, though that could be part of it. I'm just talking about talking about what God means to you, what He does in your life, how you see Him move. Tell about the times when He has blessed you. Tell about the times that you have felt that He was near. Tell about the times when you knew that He was good and that He loved you. Praise the Lord, all the nations, and then give the reasons why you're praising. Simply put, Brag about your God, about his works, about his character. Celebrate who he is. I want to give you one last word and one more way to praise God in your everyday. The word we'll look at last is called yada, and it shows up in the Old Testament 114 times. See, this mode of praise is directly linked to thankfulness and confession. So this is real simple, guys. When you go to the Lord in prayer, Remember to thank Him, 
for the great things that he has done, for the great God that he is. Confess who he is. Confess that he is a wonderful and powerful God. Confess that he has showed you the steadfast love and enduring faithfulness. Confess who he is. Think about like how we celebrate God to other people with Hillel. Now take that celebration and go before God and do that with Yada. Praise him. Praise him of retelling his wondrous works and his wonderful character. So today we've talked about three ways you can praise the Lord in your everyday. You can sing to him, you can talk about him, and you can pray to him. But if you want to, walk down your sidewalk and shout praise be to God. Don't let me stop you. You do you. Thank you.